Hey there, YouTube folks. Welcome. This is the S7 Edge, Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. This is one of the latest additions to my gadgets. And with this, I'm going to be using it to film, and it's going to be my daily driver for now. Uh, here, after taking it out of the package, I'm checking out the features and going through some of the settings. Uh, awesome, awesome phone. This is the international version and also the dual SIM version. So I can, uh, has a little bit better capabilities. Dual SIM, you can have two different SIMs on it from different carriers. Um, I use it for traveling. So I did download uh, some themes from the Samsung theme store. So I can use a the dark theme to save some battery. Very happy with this. Seems to be an awesome addition. So one of the first things I did was get a micro SD card for this since I'm going to need some storage space for both video recording and photos, especially on trips. I'm going to need to be taking lots of videos and photos. So what I ended up getting was this Sony 128 gigabyte card. It's a micro SD XC UHS-1 class 10. So per the specs from Sony, this is capable of 70 read and write, so it should be pretty decent. I don't think it's one of the best uh, ones out there, but for the money and the price, I'm uh, pretty happy with it. Uh, so taking it out of the package, what I wanted to do is I, didn't, I initially didn't want to just format it on the Android. I wanted to format it on a Mac so and kind of use it as a dual purpose so I could... Uh, plug it into a PC, a Mac, and this Android device. Uh, however, that did not seem like it panned out well for me. Uh, I try to, I have this micro USB card adapter that plugs straight into USB, and I tried inserting it into the Mac and the PC, and initially it was just seeing it as, a, it was about 28 gigabytes. Um, going through disk utilities on the Mac, and trying to format it that way and I tried to look at the different format formatting options XFAT, FAT and still on either the Mac or the PC it was just recognizing it so initially I was even thinking huh oh, did I get a defective card or what's going on anyway uh, I still tried to format it and it was just coming up as a smaller amount card uh, and even after trying to erase everything and reformatting it, it would still only uh, recognize a smaller amount. So I went back and forth. I tried different configurations and tried it both on the Mac and on a PC and came up with not desirable results. Um, so I was kind of at a loss. And uh, doing some more research, it sounded like for the bigger cards, uh, especially for your device, it's best anyway to format it on the device that you're going to use the card for. So what I did was I, um, after trying it both on the Mac and PC, I ended up taking the card out of the USB adapter and inserting it into the phone. And then from that, I formatted the micro SD card into the S7 Edge, and voila, it worked perfect. Uh, so now I've got it full formatted. I opted not to do the adoptable storage and wanted to use it as a separate uh, device, separate micro SD, just like Samsung did. So now I've got full 120 gigabytes.